Hi damsels, it's Rowan here and I'm Avir and today is in collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers I don't even remember who is in this collab. There's so many of us. Jossam at Awesome Jossam He just asked a bunch of YouTubers if we wanted to take part in a disc giving dinner Oh, that's so nice Idea. So he basically asked us uh, to come to this disc giving dinner and we're all gonna be making a meal not a meal a dish I'm sorry. We're gonna be making a dish and we're gonna bring it to a potluck So obviously we were not able to get together because we're all in different states There's a lot of us, but honestly in the future if this were to happen We would love to be a part of it. Obviously we'd want to go and hang out with Disney people and eat awesome food. So me and a beer, this is a beer by the way, oh my god, did I introduce you? I said, I said I'm a beer. This is my sister and I'm actually in her house right now. So I'm basically bombarding her house and her daughter is gonna be, we're gonna hear her voice, but you know what? This is an Arab household. This is how it is, guys. You're gonna have to deal with it. She looks like she's kind of full. So, Abita, what dish are we bringing to this potluck? We're gonna be making falafel and hummus. Together. Are well, we making falafel? We're gonna give you the recipe for the falafel, but it's already been pre-made because I'm not about to sit here and make falafel dough and fry it up live for you guys. So. Yeah, so originally my mom was supposed to be doing with this with me and she was gonna be making everything honestly because I don't know how to make any of this stuff. But Abid was like, we can make the hummus. Yeah. So for the English speaking people out there, if you hear us say falafel, we're gonna be making falafel. Mm -hmm. And hummus is hummus. Mama. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much what this video is going to be. Thank you so much, Jocelyn, for including us in this. And we're just going to get started and we're going to make some hummus. Here we go. With Aladdin and Jasmine. Oh, yeah. Cooking. It's like cooking with Aladdin and Jasmine. This is Aladdin and his. Cooking with Jay and Ali. Ali and Jay. <laughs> So we are Palestinian, and I thought it would be really fun to um, bring a dish that has to do with our culture. Even so, though hummus or hummus is not it's a side dish, yeah. Palestine. But that's what we had to bring. We had to bring a side dish. Oh, okay, okay. So we're okay, so we're doing hummus and falafel. So yeah, so let's just get started. Oh my god, this is already going All right, crazy. Fine, go. Okay. This is gonna be the most basic recipe ever. There's literally no steps. Like you just take all the ingredients, put them in a food processor, blend it, and you're good to go. So I don't have a food processor. Sorry, I'm gonna use my Vitamix. I highly recommend everybody gets the Vitamix. If you want a coupon code, I do not have one. So you're screwed. So we have one can of chickpeas that I've already drained from the liquid. So I'm just gonna add that to the Vitamix. Seventy-year-old strainer I stole from my mom in the sink. This is the liquid that we kept. Um, actually, you know what? Let me just add the tahini sauce. So this is the two tablespoons, right? So I'm just gonna drop that in there. It should be like kind of thick. And then you're gonna take three to four tablespoons of the liquid again that comes out of the can, which is called the aquafaba. So I know some people that are anti-can users. When it comes to like the chickpeas, you could just use any liquid at this point, honestly. But it's just supposed to get it the right. Um, consistency. Then we're going to use the juice of a half of a lemon. This wasn't being taped. Tip to everybody when nobody's watching you cook, you bite on the outside of the lemon and all the juice comes. What? Yeah. You, know, you do that? Yeah, that's what gets it all out. Then we're going to do one, uh, one to two cloves of garlic, but whenever a recipe or anything calls for garlic, that's a bunch of BS. So we're going to use three. I won't try to like exceed myself. We're going to add the paprika and the cumin, and that's it. Now we're gonna blend it. That's literally all you have to do. That's it? Let's go. I'm gonna do it on the lowest uh, pressure thing because the Vitamix will literally pulverize anything, so we don't want it to be too thin. We're probably good there, okay? You wanna check on it to see if it's like, I think it needs a little more liquid in there, so I'm gonna actually juice the other part of the lemon. I'd rather add that. I'd rather add more lemon flavor, honestly, than more of the juice. Oh my god, it smells like it. <laughs> it smells like hummus. Yeah, this should make it much smoother. And that's it. Let's put it in a bowl. Okay, so we're just gonna take the hummus out of your food processor. For me, it's the Vitamix. We're gonna put it in a bowl. 
Oh my god, that smells so good. I wish you, you guys can, if you could just smell it through the screen, it smells amazing. Now, if you were fancy, you would have been able to save um, some of the, the, the garbanzo beans and use it as a decoration on top. Garbanzo? I thought it was chickpeas. Well, it's the same thing. Oh. But I got a little too excited and nervous when I was putting them in the Vitamix and I forgot to save some on the side. So we're just gonna have to deal. So you're just gonna use a spoon to kind of smooth it out. And then we're just gonna put a little like dip in there. All right, and then now the always the secret when it comes to some hummus is you need to use really good quality olive oil. Okay, so we're just gonna put some olive oil. And then what they usually do is we're gonna take a little bit more paprika, you're gonna put some in the middle, and then you're just gonna decorate it. What you doing there? Just making things look pretty, you know? Making things look pretty. Did we make the falafel? We did not, we did not. But no, we got lazy. But you know what, it's fine. You could just get it anywhere. So I just like cut up some uh, pita bread and then toasted it in the oven under the broil. Um, but yeah, this is your dish. watching that was basically this video I don't even know how this is gonna come out it was just chaos so as I mentioned before this hummus recipe where did you get it honestly it, it's a cultivation of like numerous recipes but if you I mean I can give the name of the specific blogger I thought this was like our family recipe but it's, listen every hummus recipe has the base of chickpeas lemon juice like spices and it needs the tahini like that's just the base of everything okay and as mentioned before falafel is something that my family does make at home but unfortunately we just did not have the time and ingredients to make it so maybe i'll do a separate video for that but it smells really good i hope you guys enjoyed this and please make sure to check everybody else that's a part of this collab and see what dishes that they made. Hopefully we brought a little bit of ethnicity <laughs> to the Thanksgiving table this year. Is there a dish that you guys have at your table that is not part of cultural American Thanksgiving? So to be honest with you, we do not make hummus on Thanksgiving. Definitely not. We, we do the American Thanksgiving, turkey, cranberry sauce. Yeah, I know one dish that we have at our table that maybe other people, like maybe Hispanics might have at their Thanksgiving table is something we call um, uzi rice, which is basically a spiced rice that's topped with um, sauteed carrots, corn, and ground beef, and it's really good. But other than that, though, it's the turkey, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, corn, all of that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner this year with your families. I hope wherever you are in this world, you are having a magical day. Bye! Last thing before we go, you can throw this in any part of the video. Oh wait, he doesn't say falafel falafel. Yeah, goes potato, potato, potato. <laughs>